I, uh, I had trouble sleeping for a while. And so, you know, I went in acupuncture and some some herbs, and it's like, I don't know. I would rather do that than, you know, take Ambien. Uh, so, and that was covered by National Health Insurance, too. So, you know, it's nice that there's sort of these alternatives. In Taiwan, for three years, I'm enjoying the Taiwan health care. I'm in the country, when I was a kid, I had a stretch, I had a stretch, I had a stretch, I had a stretch, I had a stretch. 然后可能是它是歪了，或是怎么样，嗯，就是它的地方跟，呃，左边的跟右边的不太一样。我是不舒服好久，大概是一年左右，这是我第一次接触了台湾的医疗，哦、对吧、嗯？没关系，打了一个针。很好，已经一个一一年都不疼，希望以后就不会疼的了。Uh -huh. 所以我没有没没有发现什么什么什么不好的，安静，呃，干净，呃， uh -huh. 安全，还有你不会讲中文的话，那医生他会无所不用其极， uh -huh. 找办法。呃，跟你沟通最重要，他是想要帮忙， uh -huh. 对吧？他想要帮忙，他是就而且环境是非常的干净， uh -huh. 所以没有什么，不要害怕。有好多人觉得哦，我想回去自己的国家，呃，休呀或者怎么样，我觉得不要害怕，你找一个你觉得可以的地方就 OK。Uh -huh. 这里的医疗水平比较高。Okay, uh, what do you think about Taiwanese healthcare? And, uh, like it's good. You know what? <laughs> I have uh, a problem of my kidney, uh, so I have to go to the hospital. So I think it's very good. Uh, I have been to many hospitals. Unluckily, I have been to many hospitals here in Taichung. So I tried the most of them. Also in Taipei, I have been to Rongzhong, Taipei uh, Rongzhong. So I think healthcare is very good. If you want to see a doctor, just go online, book it, and you can go in one week, even less, if they are available. It's not expensive so much because if you go to see a doctor in the hospital, it's just 500 something. So compared to Italy, I think the timing is very short, so it's very quick, and the doctors are very prepared and very good. They are very good doctors. They can speak in English, so even if you cannot speak in Chinese. It's okay. Uh -huh. So I also did uh, some surgeries here in, oh. in Taiwan. So I think uh, it's very good uh, healthcare system. Uh, so I don't have any complaint. The only thing is, if you want to do some very specific surgery, like me, I did a surgery that uh, they used the, the, a robot. Uh -huh. Instead of opening me, they used a robot to do small cut. So uh -huh. a better surgery. In that case, uh, it's more expensive. Right? Yeah, because they don't cover it with uh, natural insurance. Mm. They say if you want to use natural insurance, you can just do the basic uh, surgery. Uh. So in that case, you need to pay by yourself. But uh, it's a little bit expensive. But uh, usually, people here have uh, their personal health insurance, so it's not a big problem. Uh. So I think here is way better than in Italy. Mainly because uh, in Italy you need to wait a lot of time. Oh really? So like if you want to do surgery, you need to you need to wait. It. Yeah. If you don't want to wait, you can go private. So uh -huh. you need to pay, like in Taiwan. Uh -huh. So it's the same as Taiwan. You need to pay, and in that case, you can do it uh, immediately. Ah. Uh -huh. So I think in Italy the doctor level is not bad. It's just there are not so many doctors, so you need to wait more. Mm. Because uh, I don't know in Italy the government, <laughs> I don't know, they don't use very well the, their money, so. They don't invest so much in uh, healthcare, so the doctors are less and less. Oh. Instead, in Taiwan, I think there are a lot of doctors, mm -hmm. so you can choose uh, and you can choose which hospital to go, and you don't need to wait so long. Mm -hmm. So it's a very good thing. Yeah. Okay, okay, that's perfect. I heard also online. I saw online. Uh, I think Taiwan is uh, one of the best uh, healthcare in the world. Yeah, it's and, very good. And do you have any suggestions for Taiwanese healthcare or like how it could be improved? Well, maybe some hospital. Like here in Taichung, I have been to China Hospital. Uh -huh. It's a very new hospital, so in that case, it's okay. But uh, like if I go to Rongzhong, like uh, General Veteran Hospital in Taichung, there are some parts that are very new and some parts that are kind of 1960, 1970, 1980 oh. buildings. So maybe they can uh, yeah, improve the building mm. yeah, <laughs> situation. But other than this, uh, I don't know how they can improve. It's very good. Uh, maybe they. Who is she? The nurse. Uh, sometimes they cannot speak English, but I think it's normal. Uh, I cannot suggest so many <laughs> improvement okay, points. Okay. I think they are kind of good. Yeah. Our healthcare system is very good. We pay insurance, and then for my, I pay for myself and my son, and then I don't have to worry if he needs something. Even dentist, uh, dentistry is covered. Um, whereas I know, like in the UK, dentistry is not. They have a, the NHS health system. 
South Africa does not um, have much at all, but and the, I say UK because my parents live there, but they, the dentistry is not covered unless you're really old, I think, oh. or really young. So that's great. Like my son has been multiple times and I pay like 100 NT, 150 depending, like nothing, oh. myself as well. So that's great. They are heavy handed with medication, however. So I always like to ask what it is. Oh, right, right, and right. if it's something like ibuprofen, he might not need that every day, uh, you know? So I, I do, I don't like to give him as much as they give sometimes, but yeah, otherwise it's very good. Like what do you think about the medical care and the healthcare here in Taiwan? Medical care, I think is great. I, my wife and I had a baby here in Taiwan a year ago, and that was really inexpensive comparatively to what it would have been in our respective country, especially from where I'm from in New York, so. Yeah, it, it was good. There were some issues with maybe them being so fascinated with my wife being a foreigner and a pregnant uh -huh. lady. I was like, okay, let's focus on the <laughs> medical part and not that she's a foreigner and all these uh -huh. things. But that's a whole other story. But overall, I think the care is, I think it's good that it's available mm. to you and it's at low cost. Even the insurance, whether I'm getting new glasses or dental work, that stuff is really, really affordable. And like, is it hard to communicate with the people? Or? I have my wonderful wife who's fine, oh. so I don't have a <laughs> I, that's the cheat code. I'm like, honey, you know, so yeah, she's the cheat code. Okay, okay. No so you didn't have like any issues or anything? No, because she's always communicating for me. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When I'm by myself, I'm, I'm a lost cause. Uh, <laughs> uh, what do you think about Taiwanese healthcare? The healthcare, that's the thing I will miss when I leave Taiwan, so I hope uh, not to leave it. Because uh -huh. uh, the way there, uh, governmental insurance, I think that it's one of the best in the world because uh, you can get a good treatment for not a high price, like uh, if you go to dentist, you can pay just uh, two hundred dollars, oh. and uh, you can get a really good uh, treatment. Even uh, I talked to some friends from U.S., and they told me that if they want to treat uh, their teeth, it's cheaper for them to come to Taiwan to yeah. pay for a plane ticket instead of uh, getting the same uh, like surgery or any other type of treatment at U.S. Oh. And also the quality that they get here for less price is uh, this on the same level or even higher oh. than in the U.S. Oh wow, this is nice to hear. What do you think about the healthcare and medicine here in Taiwan? Yeah, I just went to the doctor a couple of times uh -huh. back when I was here as an exchange student. And I was surprised on how efficient their medicine are. Oh. <laughs> like, I don't really take medicine unless I'm not really feeling sick. So when I tried their medicine, I was like, like the next day I was feeling fine. So I was, that was perfect. Oh. And they were like super fast. So that was a really great thing. But I didn't really experience it too much. Okay. Just, just a little bit. But for what I've seen, it's great. It like, good. Uh, is it uh, different to Italy or like the way like the doctor so like, uh, like just the procedures? Like yeah, other? like, I mean, to go to the doctor in Italy, you have your own doctor where uh. you can get quite easily. If you go to the hospital, uh. then you stay there maybe many, many hours and everything is a bit namaz. Mm. So the good thing is that it's public, so everybody can have access to it. And that's, that's a great thing of Italy, but it must be improved. Uh. Like the, the system, the, health system must be improved a little bit. What do you think about the healthcare and the medicine here in Taiwan? Awesome. Let's export that everywhere. <laughs> um, you know, going to the doctor here is, is terrific. From the, from the patient perspective, is that what for 150 NT you can see a doctor and get a prescription kind of all rolled into one. This is great. I'm, I'm here in Taoyuan and so Changgung hospitals around and you know, Personally, I prefer that to NTU Hospital. It's much more you know, modern. Uh, it's kind of like the, what I expect of a hospital, whereas NTU, I guess, is the better hospital, <laughs> but I don't know, it's in an old building. You know, the healthcare system is great, and for the price, it's just, just incredible. And again, I come from the American perspective that I think, right, say, Europeans or people from you know, developed countries will have national health insurance, and like that's a great thing. As an American, you know, you pay for a family, right? Family of four, I would probably be paying twelve hundred dollars, oh. like twelve hundred USD, right? It takes up a sizable amount of your income, and I, I actually think that it's kind of nice that there's also sort of the Chinese medicine kind of clinic, and it receives a, I don't know if it's at, you know, the same level of respect, but like they're around, and I, you know, I, uh, I had trouble sleeping for a while, and so you know, I went and acupuncture and some some herbs and it's like I don't know I would rather do that than you know take Ambien uh, so 
And that was covered by national health insurance too. So, you know, it's nice that there's sort of these alternatives. Mm. Um, I feel bad for the doctors because their patient list is just, oh. you know, they, they've got just a so many. <laughs> ton of people that uh. they have to get through, through the day. So, I don't know, um, shout out to the doctors <laughs> who are, you know, taking 40 patients in an afternoon. That's, uh. that's a rough time, but um, I, you know, great for all of us, I guess. Mm.